the Jeremy Hill Show live stream. Let's get off into the topic. This is going to be about what I believe are certain black women are better off being seen. And you know why I say that? It's because the majority of black women do not know how to get along with men anyway. Okay? If you're difficult to get along with, if it's a if you have a hard time being cooperative, oh, so the women who say I'm better off being single, you're right. Because you don't know how to work with a man. You don't know how to work along with a man. You don't know how to follow a man. Women like you who are unpleasant, difficult, hard-headed, selfish, don't want to listen, don't want to follow nobody, you deserve to be single. You are better off single. Stay your ass in the single lane. Leave us alone. Hold on for a second. I got to um, look at the comments. Oh, how you doing, Redfield? Yes. Now, what I'm going to do with today's um, live stream is something I haven't done in a while. This is not a religious channel, but I'm going to pull up a scripture and I'm going to break it down and show you exactly what we are dealing with when it comes to today, modern day black woman. So let me pull it up right now. Proverbs 14 and 1. A wise woman builds her home, but a foolish woman tears it down with her own hand. Let me tell you something. A foolish woman is a woman who will not submit to her man. A foolish woman is the type of woman that runs the streets. A foolish woman is the type of woman that keeps a social media, even though she doesn't have a business, but she also entertains all the beta male orators. A foolish woman is the type of woman that not only is not submissive, but she's not pleasant to be around. When women say, I can do bad all by myself, that's a bunch of shit. Let me tell you why it's a bunch of shit. Yes, you can do bad all by yourself, but women tend to not want to do bad by themselves. What do I mean? Women tend to choose men who are bad for them. Women tend to choose men who are unemployed, men who are physically abusive, verbally abusive, men that cheat on them with their family members or friends. You see it all the time with women who get Pookie and Ray Ray. So all this shit you be talking about, I can do bad by myself, your actions are not matching it. You don't want to do bad by yourself. What you want to do is do bad for somebody else. And then you want to get a good man or a decent man and you want to drag him all the way down. Most of the time when a woman meets a man, he's doing good by himself anyway until he meets you. Because that man sometimes already has his own peace. That man already has his own money. But then here you come along, draining him of his energy, taking away his peace, begging with your hand out, complaining all the damn time. Hold on one second, put you on the screen. That's Luke. How you doing? Now back to what I was saying. Back to that scripture. That is how you tear your house apart, ladies. When you look at the Joneses, want to be like everybody else, when you don't listen to your man, when you want to listen to your friends, your family members, your sisters, your brothers that's in the streets, people who don't have their own relationships, people who don't have their own families, people who don't have their own marriages, you want to go take advice for them. You want to listen to everybody else but the men. Whenever you don't want to lose weight, you just want to be fat, big as a Mack truck, you're not you're desirable. And I'm just going to be real with you. I'm just going to freestyle every fucking thing I'm talking about today. Women like you are better off single. Real men, decent men, need women who are humble. And a lot of you women lack humility. You are so egotistical, you're so full of pride, and you won't listen to nobody. A lot of you women are struggling, and it's not because of a man. A man ain't making you struggle. What makes you struggle is those dumbass decisions that you made in the past. A lot of you are reaping what you sold when you were younger women. When you run around here, dating all these different men, riding the penis carousel, letting dudes shoot up the club, skid all up in you, now you got four or five different kids, two or three or four different baby daddies. And you crying, oh, life is so hard, life is so hard for me. Boo-hoo, bitch. That ain't got nothing to do with us. So now you run from man to man begging for money with your hand out. And if a man don't give you no money, you say he broke. If you're asking him for the money, you're the one who's broke. Not us. Just because a man doesn't want to be your trick. 
doesn't mean that he's broke. Men work long, hard hours, long, hard hours to get that money. You think we want to spend it on a long head heifer like you? You're better off being single until you get your mind right, until you understand that femininity is more important than your booty. Femininity is more important than your breasts. Femininity is more important than how you give head. Because after you suck us up and make us bust that nut, we want to have someone that we can have a good time with, someone that we can have a good vibe with, somebody that can make us feel good and feel, feel like kings and stuff, homie. That's what we want. So sick of hearing y'all on this all over YouTube and stuff talking about how men ain't shit. We ain't shit. Then if we ain't shit, then how come you always chasing us? If we ain't shit, then how come you so mad about the passport role movement if we ain't shit? What you really mean is, not that we ain't shit, is that we don't submit to you. You will never, ever, 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 ever be happy till you learn to submit to us. See, I'm gonna tell you straight, I ain't gonna pander to any one of y'all up here. I ain't scared of none of you out there. That I had some people hit me up in the comments and say, well, you might not want to say certain things about it. I don't give a fuck. They've been saying stuff about us for how long? How many years have women been shitting on you? How many men lives have been destroyed because of ungrateful, unsatisfied helper took him to divorce court, took him to the ringer, took half his shit that he worked for, separated him from the kids, turned his own kids against him. Now you tell me, do you really think that all women should be in a relationship? A lot of you are not fit for marriage. Shit, some of you not even fit to be in a relationship, period. Some of you ain't even fit to have a job. What do I mean by that? Some of you are so lazy that you always show up at the damn job late, ladies. And that same lackadaisical, lackadaisical attitude you have on your job is the same laziness you display in these relationships. When you don't get your ass in the kitchen and cook, when you don't get that damn room and you don't clean. All right? I'm so, I'm so sick and tired of y'all acting like cooking and cleaning is just something that you shouldn't do no more. Your mouth is the main reason why you're unhappy. So again, back to that scripture. Let me put it up right quick. This scripture. In, um, the New Living Translation of Proverbs 14 and 1. A wise woman builds her home, but a foolish woman tears it down with her own hands. Women initiate all the damn divorces. They are tearing apart the houses with their own hands, by their own designs, to what? To their selfishness, to their unwillingness to submit, to their unwillingness to comply. The patriarchy comes divine from God. There is always going to be a power imbalance, and that power imbalance is of God. God gave man the power, and you serve that man. Oh, I know a lot of you don't like that. Because you're so used to people telling you lies, telling you the damn prize and stuff. You were never meant to be a prize. You was a gift. You were something that was given. We didn't earn you. Woman was given to man in the Garden of Eden. You didn't have to do shit to win it for a prize. A prize is something that you have to put forth effort and win. You got to do something to win some shit to be a prize, right? Your whole nature was never founded upon being a damn prize. It was founded upon being a damn gift. That's it. A gift is something that is freely given. Let me try to put some of y'all on the screen. I'm not going to play with you today. I'm not going to play with none of y'all today. Because I see a whole bunch of lying. I go all over TikTok. And I see women crying and dudes crying. Dudes sounding like bitches when they talk about they trying to take care of women. Man, look here, man. Look here. Again, some of you certain black women are better off single. Because you're not mature. You're not mature. It takes a certain level of maturity to function in a relationship with a man. 
it takes a certain level of maturity to function among other people. A lot of you are childish. You value your nail color more than you value your family. You value a bottle of case amigos more than you do a marriage because you're cheap. This is the mindset of a cheap street running whore. Point blank. You don't have no damn value system. This is the reason why shit is not working. Men have been telling your asses this for a long period of time now, and you don't want to listen to you, do you? So ladies, do you really want to be with a man? If so, then you've got to do what it takes to be with a man. You go to school, you learn all this extra shit that ain't got nothing to do with being with a man. And that's the problem. You go to school to learn how to be successful. You go to school to learn how to be a man. Basically, you go out there, you get your education, then your personality get masculine, now you want to be a man. Now you want to take over and do what men do, and you want to come around the men to tell them that you're better than the men. Now, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Are you hard-headed women out there? Look at me. Let me tell you. How is it any different? How is you coming to men and telling men you don't need men or that you can do better than men or that you are equal to men? How is that any different than that war that you have between the transgenders who are telling you that you are not a woman because now they feel that they are equal to you? What you feel right now is what we've been feeling. Don't you ever be a hypocrite and say, okay, well, the transgender, they're not real women. They're not really women. They're not real women, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they weren't born this way. They don't have that right. Now, what do you think men been telling you for the last 40 years? You can't be a man. You can't be masculine. You don't have that right. You weren't born that way. That's not what you tell them, right? So we telling you the same shit that you tell them that you weren't born that way. You were never born to be a damn leader. You were never born to be the head of the household. You were never born to walk in masculine energy. You were never born to be a man. You were born to be a subservient to the man. Now, the man is not supposed to be a taskmaster. The, the man is not supposed to run over you. The man is not supposed to abuse you. The man ain't supposed to terrify you. But the man is supposed to lead you. And whenever you suckers keep talking about man, it's just a men and women alike, especially you beta males out there I've been watching. Every time you say providers, you never specify, you never clarify what the fuck that means. You always associate that shit with money. Let me tell you something. A man provides more than just money. He provides leadership. He provides teachings. He provides spirituality. He is the prophet in the home. There's a lot of shit that provisions cover other than dollars, other than money. And when you talk to these long-haired women, all the time they ever talk about provision is always associated with the bank. It's nothing else. The two main things they talk about is protection and provision. They don't talk about love. They don't talk about companionship. They don't talk about submission. They don't talk about letting a man feel peace. They don't talk about being pleasant. Put some of y'all up here right quick. <clears throat> So, I'm going to try to put some of y'all on the screen right quick before I pick it up. I kind of fast while I'm going. Now, back to what I was saying. You can't have, now I will say this. We need the black woman. Black men need black women. Black women need black men. We don't hate you. I don't hate you either. But I think you hate yourselves. Because anytime you hate the man, you hate yourself. Because woman, a woman was came from the rib of a man, right? If you're scripture, this is Sunday, right? God used the man's rib to make your funky ass. So when you hate us, you hate yourself. Good point. 
I am the groom in marriage. Now let me let me tell you something. I'm glad I said that before. Y'all don't even know what groom is. Y'all just know bride and groom. Especially your women. So your women are so out of the loop of all information that can help you that you don't really give a damn. All you want to do is feel good. So let me tell you, when you take a man and he's your groom, guess what that means? Do your history. Look it up. That means that man is going to groom you during matrimony. He's going to groom you, mold you, customize you to what he likes. Because when the, when the Bible says when a man finds a, a wife, he finds up a good thing, you know God is not into adultery. So he's not telling you to go sleep with a woman who's married. He's talking about a woman who has the characteristic traits, the attributes of a wife, meaning her mindset is traditional, meaning her mindset is submissive to a man. So when the man get her and he grooms her, he customizes that woman. See, every woman is supposed to come with some knowledge, a little bit of knowledge of what they supposed to, what a man might expect of them. And then when you get with that man, he customizes you. How do we do that? One way is sexually. When you have absolutely no body, no body counts, you have no other men to compare other men to. Sexually, you can't say, oh, his thing too little. You can't say, oh, he don't know how to work that thing. You can't say, oh, he busts too quick because you only have one man. And then you will customize your womb, your vagina, your body to his sexual preferences. And then you will be fully satisfied because you have one man. That is why it's so fucking dangerous for you to have so many men running in and out of you like ants do an ant mound. Let me get this back on the screen right quick. Are y'all hearing me well? What is, uh, what is this, a dynamic mic? Can y'all hear me? Put a one in the chat for me, please, though. I just make sure y'all hearing me well. But yeah, excuse me. My neck hurt again. Yeah, but black women, a lot of you black women are better off being single because you are totally not prepared to be in a relationship. Okay, thank y'all. I see the ones. I appreciate that. Y'all are not prepared to be a man's woman. I'm not talking about them fuck boys you deal with. I'm not talking about them pookies and ray rays that you deal with. I'm talking about men who got money. I'm talking about men who don't have to have, who don't have to be making $100,000 a, a year. I'm talking about decent men who get out there, get it from the mud, work hard to provide for himself, work hard to provide for you, try to stay out of trouble. I'm talking about decent ass men. You don't deserve none of them. I don't care how you look. You don't deserve none of them. Because all you're going to do is traumatize them. All you're going to do is break them down. <laughs> all you're going to do is make them lose hope in humanity. All you're going to do is make them lose hope in love and everything else because you don't know how to love nobody. You think love equates to dollar sign. You think love means somebody waiting on you. That's not what love is. Y'all have gotten away from being wholesome. Y'all have gotten away from having values. Y'all have gotten away from caring for your fellow man or your fellow woman. All the fuck you give about, give a fuck about now is money and pleasures of assorted kinds. That's all you want. You just want to go have a good time. You don't care. You don't care about consequences. You don't care about what might happen next if you make this stupid ass decision. You don't care about if you get in the car with your home girls and they wreck because they drunk when they driving. You don't care about that. All you care about is having fun. And some of you are too damn old to feel that way. You are just too old. I don't see people that is in their 30s and their 40s and their 50s acting like they in their damn 20s or they 17 years old. Women. I just shake women. Women who are still trying to look young. Women who are still trying to act like a young girl. You women care so little about yourself that you're so easily offended now that if someone tells you that you're a grandmother, you get pissed off. Think about how stupid that sounds. You're a grandmother. That means you had a child who had another child. That's a celebration. But you women care so little about respect or honor or positions that carry respect and honor that if someone said hey you're a grandmother you say don't tell me that child i'm not old don't you call me grandmother you know how foolish you sound 
there was a time, there was a time when you called a woman a grandmother, it was a term of endearment, of, of, excuse me, a term of endearment. It was an honorable position. People respect, you know what? Grandmothers kept the family together. The grandparents kept the family together. That's the reason why you had all these damn family reunions when they used to have family reunions because your grandmother, your grandparents said it was important to know who your people was. But because of your little mouse brain thinking, you don't no longer want to be called grandmother. You don't want to honor that position. Now the families are scattered here and there. You don't know who the fuck your cousins is. You don't know who your uncles is. You don't know who your nieces is. You don't know your first, second cousin, your third cousin, your fourth cousin, because that's how you look at life now. Everything got to be all about, I'm pretty. Everything got to be about, I, I don't want to be bored. Everything got to be about, he got to make at least six figures and he got to be over six foot tall. You sound like a damn fool. Thank you, um, thank you, humble servant, for that, um, $20. YouTube is, is lagging, Mr. Um, Perry. I don't know what it is with YouTube. Sometimes YouTube goes up and down, bro. I, I don't know what it is with YouTube, man. Now, women, I know some of y'all are, are here. I got some women subscribers. You're more than welcome to come on this um live stream. I won't tear you apart. I won't rip you apart. But if you really think you can contribute to what I'm saying, if you have any solutions to what's going on in our community, you're more than welcome to come on here. You have to send an email to my um, email account, which is at Jeremy Hill Show One. I didn't put it on there at Jeremy Hill Show One at gmail.com. Now, what you can do also in the comments, let me know if you sent me an email, ladies. Let me put that up there. I, I still didn't press it. I'm gonna put this on there. There you go. You'll see my email correctly on that ticker that's going across your screen. But anyway, or gentlemen. Or going to fuzz, I'm trying to get all this shit together. Yeah. So a lot of you women are better off, man, being single. You are better off being single because all you're doing is destroying people. You're confusing people. You're lying. A lot of you women don't know what the hell you want from one moment to the next. It could be Monday, you want something. Tuesday, you want something different. Wednesday, you need something else. Then Thursday, who knows? Friday, I got to have it. You know, it just keeps going and going and going because you're not settled. You have no stability. But it's so funny how you want a man to be stable when you have so much instability in your mind. You're too busy being concerned about what your peers think about you, about what your girlfriend... Uh, let me tell you something. One of the biggest reasons why relationships fail is because of a knucklehead woman listening to another knucklehead woman. You let your damn friends run your relationship. You let your family members run your relationship. Father-in-law, mother-in-law. You listen to every goddamn body except the man that God put in your life. You listen to everybody else. So again, a lot of you women are better off single. And I'm going to recant. I'm going to say what I just said a while ago. When you be saying all that BS about, hey, hey, I can do bad by myself. But you don't want to do bad by yourself. You want to do bad with others. All I got to do is look outside and see the type of company that you keep. Because majority of you thoughts out there, all of you thoughts, all you running in groups are doing something bad. You're up to no good. But you're doing bad, but not by yourself. You're doing bad when you can't take care of yourself. You're doing bad when you have to go depend on a man. I'm not talking about when you're with a man he provides for you. That's a different type of dependency. I'm talking about you gold digging women. You women who are at a certain age when you should have a, a, at least a car. You know, it, it don't have to be a business. You should have a, a ride. You should have residence. You should have some money in your own pocket. You should have a, a lifestyle where you're not living above your means where you can function as a grown adult. That's just adult stuff, right? But with you, you got to go find a man. When you have to go to find a man, and live underneath that man, not because you are a classy lady, but because you are in need, you're garbage. That's trash. That tells me and every other man that you're not responsible with your own life. So you have no right. I repeat, I do declare, you have no right 
to call any man of any ethnic group a dusty. What you need to do what that say? Trader will keep exposing. That's what's up, man. <clears throat> I don't know who this Daryl. I've, I've seen this a couple times in my comments. I don't know who David Carroll is. Um, so I have to look him up, I guess. I don't I don't know who he is. But I, I guess he's someone cool. I don't know. But like I'm trying to say to you, a lot of you people, a lot of you women need to be chastised. And I'm not talking about violence. I'm not talking about domestic violence. I'm not talking about none of that trash at all. You need to be checked. And that's what's wrong. Y'all are not being checked. People are kissing your booties left and right. You got these, these sucker simp content creators with their candy ass messages telling you that you're the prize. That, but these men don't care about you. They don't want you. They don't love you. All they care about is that you give them a dollar or two. That's all they give a fuck about. And you don't want to hear that shit. You know, you don't want to hear this shit. All the men who are telling you stuff that you don't want to hear, man, he ain't nothing. But think about what you're doing now. Think about it. When you listen to these simp ass content creators to tell you that you are the prize and all this shit here, are you happier now that you listen to them? Do you have a man after you listen to them? Has anyone proposed to you after you listen to them? No, because they don't, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. And they know damn well themselves as a man, they wouldn't put up with some of the foolishness that you, that you throw at men. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go back to the scripture right quick. Say something else about it. One second. I'm gonna put a scripture up for you, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. All right. A wise woman builds her home, but a foolish woman tears it down with her own hands. I gotta get that out the way. Hold on one second. I gotta take this person out. Where the hell is that? Is it? Right there. All right. A wise woman builds up her home. How does she build it up? What makes her so wise? What helps her to build a house? What helps her to keep it together? For one, she's not a quitter. We have more quitters now in this generation that are women that I have ever seen in my life. Anytime there's a struggle, anytime things get hard or difficult, women are quick to say, hey, I want a divorce. Women are quick to say, I want to just leave. They can't be still. They got to move around because they ain't happy. Marriage or relationships, newsflash, newsflash. Or like you can say in the old show, warning Mr. Robinson, warning Mr. Robinson, whatever it was, relationships are not always happy. They're not always happy. And even when you're in that single life, you weren't always happy then. You're miserable. That's why I want me a man. I need me a man. And then when a man come along and he doesn't do what you want him to do, you don't want to please him. You don't want to make him happy. You know, men have feelings too. You don't want to treat him nice. You don't want to do shit for him. But then he say, I don't want this. Now you say, man ain't nothing. Man ain't shit. You don't know what you're doing. We need, what we need are men and we need women that's gonna take up this mission and this cause and point out the foolery of everyone else. I am not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of y'all saying, oh, you're the morality police. I don't give a, I don't give two shakes of a thought saying how you feel about it. Let me tell you something. You can call me the morality police. You can call me the morality feds. I don't give a damn. You know why? There's nothing wrong by saying what is wrong is wrong. And what is right is right. There was a whole, back in the history of mankind, morality police always existed. When a woman committed adultery, they used to wear, make her wear the scarlet letter, the A. She had to walk around the whole village with an A and let everybody know she was a hoe. 
They did that to put shame on them so that they would not, well, women would not want to be a hoe. See, that thing to go on in Dubai, when you can't yell at a man in Dubai, when you can't act masculine to people in Dubai, those laws, you know what they do? They keep women feminine. Them, those laws keep women feminine. We don't have laws like that to help that. Whenever there was laws that kept women in check, society flourished. Even in the Bible, if a man or a woman was caught doing something wrong, God would punish them. It made the rest of society not want to go do crazy shit because they know there was a consequence. They know there was a, a, something going to happen to them if they did wrong. We need to bring shame back. And I look at people say, oh, you can't body shame no more. You know, you know saying somebody fat is horrible and stuff. Ain't nobody trying to hurt your little weak ass feelings. When someone said that you're overweight and you're morbidly obese, do you realize the health problems you can have for being 300 pounds, 400 pounds, 600 pounds? You can look at the shows on TV, my 600 pound life. So that's shaming you because we're trying to tell you to get in shape. Mm hmm. I'm looking at the comments, y'all. One second. Cap, are you still in here? Let me something in the um thing. Try to put you up there, gentlemen. One second. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Excuse me, the Do Better podcast with Theo Coop. Thank you for the ten dollar donation. I do appreciate it. So, what I'm saying to you, gentlemen, we got to take off the kitty gloves and tell it like it is. Stop trying to be so damn politically correct. Stop worrying so much about hurting people's feelings. How long have our feelings been getting hurt? It doesn't mean that you're a weak man because you say, oh, my feelings hurt. Uh, everybody goes through pain, men, women, even animals. Okay? So, let me check something right quick. One second, gentlemen. I'm gonna check something right quick, my email. Okay. Anybody want to join in before I shut it down? Because think about it, y'all. Women are not taught how to get along with their men, their boyfriends, their husbands, fiancés. They're not, are they? But they are taught to get along with their supervisors. Taught to get along with whoever is in a supervisory position in their lives. Thank you, original man, for the $5 donation. I greatly appreciate that as well. Thank you. I'm trying to keep up with y'all comments while I'm talking. It's a... <laughs> I know y'all talking to each other in the comments. I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? But um, I'm so short. So they learn how to get along with everybody else other than us. And like I've often said before, let me take this off right quick, Jim. Hold on. Damn, how you take that off? Just give me one second, y'all. Cut that off the... Before I continue on. One second, gentlemen. There it is, okay. Now, what I was about to say this right here. I almost forgot my train of thought. Women are taught to be divisive now. Even their closest friends are teaching them to be divisive. These are the enemies in our communities. The ones who, who pander to these women and the ones that encourage women to be separated from men. These are the enemies. I'll put the bullseye on your back. I, I, 
I really don't give a damn. You know what I mean? I really don't give a damn. You know what I mean? If you don't like me or not, I, I'm going to tell the truth. If anybody want to um, get on here and debate, you can. I have no issue with that either. You get it straight from the big dog. Okay. Oh, Lizzo. Well, about Lizzo, all I can say is that Lizzo is just another big old 304 who made it big in the celebrity game. And and basically, man, women, when they get power, the money is power, and they get celebrity and shit, they don't know how to act. They, a lot of them are like that. You know what I mean? So I'm not surprised if she was abusing people in power. They say Tyler, um, Tyler Perry doing the same thing to people work for them. You know what I mean? So they don't help us at all. Anyway, I'm trying to um, see what's going on. All right, gentlemen. So, not sick of it. Anything else I need to say before I get out of here? Uh, about some more of my thoughts. I just know that most of you women need to be single. You need to stay single. Stop trying to bother them. Don't disturb our peace. Don't disturb us. Oh, okay. You want to join the show? Okay. Mr. I remember you. I think you're Wayne. That's what I think this is. All right, Mr. Wayne, you have to send an email to the Jeremy Hill Show One at gmail.com. And I will send you the link. And then I will put you on. Hey, BZ, um, Mr. Luke Perry said that there's uh, something wrong with YouTube too that is lagging. There's nothing I can do about that. There's something going on with YouTube then. If that's the thing, I can't fix any of that at all, gentlemen. Uh, if y'all having these lagging issues, it's something with them because on my side, I don't see nothing, but it's probably with YouTube. Sometimes YouTube be jacking up sometime, man. You know, listen, it ain't no rain over here. It's, it's straight hot in Texas. It's hot out here, man. It's that dangerous. You go outside, you fall on down. It's so hot out here, man. It's a heat wave down here. It's crazy hot down here. Uh, thank you, Mr. J. How did they quite quit? Well, um, I can't say the last part, man, but thank you, Jay, for the $1.99 um donation i appreciate that let me check my email okay i see you now i'm gonna send you the all right i'm gonna send you the on um, the link now sir so you can join the show you got to be visible of course let me um send this um thing to you they copied go to you bye paste okay all right, so I just sent you the link, man. So um, you can, uh, you know what it is. Just click the link and I bring you on to the show. We're just waiting for this gentleman right quick before I continue on. So we can talk about this. But like I said, black women are better off being single. The ones who don't know what they want, stay your ass in your, stay over there in your house. And lay on your mattresses on the floor and continue to eat ramen noodles out the cup with a can of soda and leave us the hell alone. Stop complaining about us when your lives are in shambles. Just because you chose to be with all these different dudes who broke your heart and just because you chose to have a high body count has nothing to do with us. You see, this is why you should be virgin. But you don't want to do that. I'm, I'm at this guy first and um, I'll get back to that in a minute. Hold on, Mr. Um, let me make sure this is what I think. Hello, Wayne. Okay, that may be it. That may be it. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, good, good. Yeah, Jeremy, I I, I really enjoy your show. Um, but yes, I mean, but we're not raised, though. I think in our culture, I'm sure you probably touched on it already. Um, really, to be husbands and wives, man. I mean, it really is a role, and I think both roles have to be selfless. You know, it's definitely some um, some give that you have to give on both sides. You know, what I mean, um. You know, you got to put others. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I would just open up with that. I just open up with that. I mean, I think I think it's definitely some selflessness that has to be on on both sides. I understand your point, and um, to an extent, I do agree to some. I think that um, the parents, in my personal opinion, are failing the youngsters. I believe that because they're not teaching it. I mean, you can show things through example, like this is how you provide for a man. How you, I, I can get there, but they're not making it a point. There's an echo, brother. You have me on in the background or something. No, I don't have anything on. I, see, I don't have my headset, um, oh. my Bluetooth. Um, so, I mean, it actually sounds kind of distant. I don't think I can put it on speaker on here. Okay, that's, cool. that's cool. I can work with that. Um, well, I forgot what I was about to say. Um, yeah, some points of that I, I agree with. But the other point is, 
you don't have to be taught to be decent. That's why I think a lot of people are failing to understand that accountability, you don't always have to teach. Cause like, even with that woman who with the sass, that sassy truck driver, driver who went to Dubai, you don't have to teach people how not to disrespect people and be loud and throw drinks at people like that. Some of this shit, we have a thing called a conscience and we should know yes. how to do it. Even if we marry somebody, give it a woman or, or, or a husband, whatever it is, our conscience, if it isn't seared with a hot iron like the scripture says, we should just have goodness of us to know to treat a person decently. Some things, if you don't know, we have no excuse to be ignorant anymore, ladies and gentlemen, because we got the fucking internet. We can look yes. up things. There are things out there right now that are great resources for us who didn't have daddies, who didn't have mothers. We can learn. I'm sick and tired of us, us, making excuses for why we're not doing what we need to do. There ain't nothing but excuses. If you want to do something, you can get it done. And I'm not talking about no to you directly, on Mr. Wayne. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying. No, but I, I no, but I hear you. I hear you because, um, like I said, I mean, it sounds like hey, you're like you look, just cut the excuses, just kind of do what you're supposed to, supposed to do. I mean, I I can see that, um, but some things, man, it's just again, we just got to do better. I mean, I think we just got to tighten things up. I think it's a matter of, I think it starts with us men. You know, I think some things we have to teach the younger men what is a good woman, what to look for, what red flags to look out for, and make them understand, hey, you don't want to be wasting your time. If you see something like that, she may look good, she may be fun and different things, but don't even entertain it. You know what I mean? Try to find someone that's, you know, I mean, I know it's, it's hard to do, but we got to rebuild, rebuild the man-woman relationship, you know, in here. I mean, I think it's on, on both sides. But the, I mean, you know, both parties got to take accountabilities. Both parties got to take accountabilities. But I think the best thing we can do as men is really just not entertain women that are not going to be productive for us, you know. But when you find a good one, you gotta you gotta go ahead and um, you gotta cultivate that. You gotta cultivate that, you know. I agree with you on that. I believe that both because they're. I, I was just going to say, because they're far in between. I think the thing is, is that, you know, I think it goes on both sides. A man can have a bad experience and cut. I think men, I think really we only fall in love really one time, whereas we kind of have shades on, <laughs> you know what I mean? But after that, it's like, you know, we're always going to look at someone's side eye. Um, I think women can just fall in love multiple times, you know, but we only going to get hurt necessarily once, you know, before we, you know, we're going to go hit them ball up and, you know, just be really speculative of um, anything moving forward, you know? I believe, um, I agree with some of the stuff with the fan, but here's my thing right here. For, I'm, I'm trying to speak for myself. Right now, um, for people in Houston or anyone who looks this up, I am a, a participant at the Shape Community Center in Houston. And what we do is we help at-risk children, children who don't have fathers or fathers who are in the pen or whatever you want to call that and we try to mentor them into a, a, a different way of life right what i'm tired of is people and i'm not talking about mr wayne okay i'm not talking about him but in general of people saying what we need to do that we need to change it but they're not doing anything what are you actually doing what are your credentials have you helped anybody out have you pulled somebody aside and said, look, this is the, the right way to go. This is the wrong type of woman. This is the wrong type of man. See, all this shit sounds good to us when we speak it. But when we actually put it in action, it's a lot harder. Yes. So, are we actually practicing what we are preaching here? Or are we just another bunch of men all over the damn internet complaining? Yeah. So, I mean, I... I, sorry, I mean, I can see that. I think the, the main thing we can do is, I mean, you know, as a father, I mean, again, I'm, you know, looking to raise my sons the right way, um, yes, you know, and again, I think it really starts with that. I mean, you know, the thing is the black community, we've used stepfathers as a as a stopgap to fill in spaces and things, not saying that women didn't have their thing. Sometimes they just left men just looking for the better deal or what they thought was the better deal, or maybe it was a better deal than what they had. But they broke up the, you know, they left away from the biological father, you know, um, you know, so again, I mean, but when you break up those homes and then, I mean, you know, you just know how it is. I mean, it's nothing like raising your own children. I mean, I'm looking at them, you know, I see themselves so much in me. I mean, it's kind of like repeating, but I'm like, you know, working to have them just be ahead of me at whatever stage they at, you know what I mean? And just saying, you know, um, 
you know, again, just just to be ahead, not making the same same necessary mistakes, you know, learn how to save money, how to invest, um, you know, develop their skills, you know, so that they're on a trajectory, whereas though they're in their 30s and 40s, that they're just have things set up for themselves, you know, but, you know, raising another child and stuff, it's, it's just never it's not the same. You know, of course, you can try to instruct other kids that not. But I think it even comes from, you know, me giving instruction to them. I think they even take it take it more readily coming from me too. I don't know if they would necessarily would have that response coming from another another man, you know? I agree with you, man. Um, I commend you on being a good father to your children, man. I really do. That's, that's, you're right. It does start at the house. You know what I mean? I'll just you know, respond about what you said where to go about teaching the young men and stuff like that because sometimes young men don't have fathers out here. You know what I mean? They don't have, but they're in the streets. The only, only thing is the father is the street dude. You know it, I mean? it does, but sometimes we get in traps again. I mean, like I said, the stepfather, I know my I mean, you know, just to kind of shed some no, I'm not sure if I should even say it, but but you know, my oldest, I mean, he's you know of of age. I mean, he's you know, old enough to drink. Um, you know, he had an interaction where he was dating this young lady and you know, she had a daughter. I was like, Look, son, I mean a son. I was like, nah, man, you don't even want to deal with that. Cause I'm you know, to me it's like, hey, start and finish your own family. You know what I mean? If you're gonna go ahead and invest in a child, make sure it's yours. You know what yes. I mean? And I think, um, you know, that's just one of the one of the things that kind of created a, a whole whole curtail of everything. So it just kind of let, you know, women in general just kind of make bad choices. And then somebody's still coming in to go ahead and pick up the pieces, you know? Let me ask you this, Mr. Wayne. Um, cause like, um, we're talking about, and I like what you said. I'm going to ask you what your opinion is about the black women. The name of this is Black Women Are Better Off Being Single. And I'm talking about a certain type of black woman, not all, but certain of them don't have the right mindset, man. Do you think they're better off being seen? Um, yes, yes, absolutely. I mean, because the thing is, if you're, you know, in a marriage, you know, again, it's is is give it gives and takes, um, is is what it what it's gonna take. I mean, um, you know, I think that you know, a lot of times. To me, one thing I wish I had was just a, a, a clearer goal as far as what I wanted to, you know, go as far as um, resources and things. I think it took a little while. I mean, I've always been employed, you know, better than average, uh, made made good money, union worker, um, you know. So I put a significant, I, I did basically did the plan that my parents taught me, hey, find a good job, good benefits, you know, put your time in. And retire. I think probably really my generation is probably the last one that's going to be able to do that. So we're moving into a new time now. I think this is a time where as though, you know, people have to be creative, look to kind of create multiple streams of income, create side hustles that can grow. But, you know, we also still have to get in kind with those, um, you know, basically building up your skills, whereas though you're looking to work and create money for yourself, you know? Yes, sir. So, so that's what I'm kind of at now. I mean, I've done a lot of, um, you know, for my career, I've done a lot of communication, a lot of, a lot of talking, kind of, you know, um, getting people, you know, settled down. Um, so I'm going to look to translate that into monetize, monetize that into, you know, moving forward. Okay. And I got uh, another question. Uh, were you around during the scripture I put up there about the woman? Hold on, quick. Hey, let me call you right back. Let me call you right back. Yeah, um, I'm going to ask you, um, what do you think about the scripture I put up about a woman? There's two sets of women, one that built the house and one that tears it down. And that scripture I put, I don't know if you saw that or not on the screen. I um, you know, I did. Yes. I mean, well, that's that's definitely factual. I mean, okay. women, they, I don't think today's women. Wait, wait, wait. They, wait, wait. Yes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm going to ask you, because I want to see, first you've seen it yet. But I'm going to ask you, um. In what ways do you think that's possible for a woman to build the household and for her to tear it down? That's what I want to ask. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. no, that, that's fair. I mean, I think the thing is, is that today's today's woman, I mean, I think they don't even necessarily realize what their power is. Um, you know, to me, what I see with the whole feminist movement and what they're trying to do, they want to empower themselves to be like men and, you know, um, you know, try to replicate what they see as their, what their behavior is. You know, as far as, you know, moving around, having kids, you know, having a whole bunch of relations with different people and things. Um, but that's not necessarily going to build build a life for you. You know what I mean? You can have, 
a whole bunch of relations with different people, but are you really building something significant? So I say that to say that um, women don't realize what their power is because they can, women, you know, with the right woman behind a man, she can speak life into him. You know what I mean? And just say, baby, you can do it. You know, or like, you know, I'm so thankful to have you in my life. I, I love your mindset or how you think of things. And also a lot of times there's different points of views that we can go ahead and provide to to a number of people in our lives. You know what I mean? You know, I think men, we tend to create hedges around everyone in us, around in our circle that we feel like they can go ahead and, um, you know, again, we're looking to protect them, you know? So, but again, I mean, I think women have to get back to being women, being a supportive role, not necessarily trying to be in the lead, because I think that they, they're, I mean, because a lot of times, even when you're in a relationship and you say, hey, you shouldn't argue with women, um, sometimes you're just trying to rationalize and try to get them to understand your point of view. And, you know, they just don't necessarily up, accept it, you know, so, um, so again, I mean, I think it's it's one of those things where again they have to realize what their power is and what their what their abilities are, and and again be able to speak life into into men. Well, let me have a, have a rebuttal for that. Um, I, I thank you for your point, but I think we may see we disagree on one point. I don't believe that a woman can speak life into any man. I, I don't believe that. I don't believe a man mm-hmm. a woman can do that because a man is already he should already have a love manhood of himself he shouldn't have to go to a woman and she got i understand she could be a comfort dog i get that yeah i understand that but i don't think women have this type of power that you're speaking of because they're made for us i think they really we are the structure we are the pillars that hold them up in the rest of the family i don't think they, they have their feminine energy they have their abilities i will i would say that but i don't yeah. want to give them too much credit i want us to understand that because what happens if we don't give ourselves as men all the credit that we deserve and we're always yes. constantly talking about these women and what they got and what they can be but what about us you know what i mean we understand them what about us so i'm not saying that to be rude but it's just the truth I can like, see that. you know what i'm saying we got to start yes. really focusing on us and say look what we bring what we do because we done heard for the last 40 years what they do for us and they've been telling us yeah. we ain't shit. yes yeah and I, I you know i think there has been something that that's kind of fell into our culture whereas that we do um i don't know if i I would say it maybe we just kind of give give reverence to the woman like you know you know you hear people say like you know when they get an award or something i want to thank my wife for for but a lot of times i mean the man i I say a winner is going to be a winner you know what i mean like regardless and a lot of times you just got to pick up on that on that winner um you know early because like you can tell talent you know when you when you see it i don't care if it's like a sport or like somebody's doing anything, you can a lot of times pick up on it and it's like an attitude, it's the way the person moves, the way they behave. I and agree, you know, agree. you wanna go ahead and get on that. But what I'm saying is that um, sometimes there may be a, a down point that you may have. And and again, I mean, that's what a woman's supposed to be able to do. Now, do we get that nowadays? Probably not, you know? Um, are women able, I mean, again, I think that's what they're supposed to be, but you know um but but again i think a lot of time it does come out of it i mean do you have to you know going up to getting up to go to work every day to the west team a lot of times that's just going to be in you you know what i mean you're not necessarily going to be forced to go ahead and and do that mm-hmm. i agree so, with you on that i agree with you on that point i really do and i thank you hey man i've seen a long time man um, i know I man but i've still been i've been i've been catching your shorts and catching your videos um it's been a little while i gotta get some headsets on here man but um but i appreciate your content i mean again i think it's a matter of just being aware um i guess i'm kind of on the um on a mediocre side i think that you know man woman in a committed relationship i think that's that's what's best for our families i think we just have to prepare the young people for what they're in what they're in for and we have to have other I mean, really, it's just to hope you have that example from your parents that have a direct line to coach you through things and keep pushing the young men and women back together so they go ahead and, um, you know, stay tight together. You right. know, but again, it's, it's I don't think it's for as far as raising children. I don't think I mean, it's the best system that works. I mean, it's, it's too it's too much time 
and too much energy to raise these kids in. Whereas you, you know, looking to have separate households and different things, man. It's I know what I've been through and what I put into my sons. I'm I'm happy with their development um, and things. I just know that you know when they do settle down and fight the right one, that that woman's going to be, you know, she's going to have a, you know, well well rounded man that's going to be able to go ahead and really lead the family in the next direction and um and you know raise my grandkids or raise my our grandkids you know that's what i'm kind of looking forward to now you know okay. so just okay. try to go ahead and prepare them man i mean it's no it's no joke out here you know yeah, you're right i want to thank you for calling in man hope to hear from you again soon oh will do will do man i mean i again keep keep the work up um again i mean i think that you know we just have to be be aware and um you know again it's a lot of things are kind of passed down um i call them generational choices i don't like using the word curses i think curses make things a little firmer i think if you make better different choices then you know your your life can definitely move in a different different direction all right point taken you have a good one man thank you for joining the show all right you too thank you i appreciate that gentlemen for tuning into the show haven't talked to him in a while always a pleasant conversation but gentlemen anyone else want to join before i shut it down let me know it's almost an hour now now i see y'all going at each other throat or something in the comments does anybody want to say something if anyone want to disagree with me or if you think i got it wrong feel free to talk to the big pit bull i'm right here to talk to you i ain't got no issue i ain't gonna fight with you but i, I don't mind someone disagreeing with me because i ain't always right myself okay I'm gonna let it run for another about mm, 30, 40, 40, 40 seconds. It's about a minute before I decide to turn it off, okay? I hope y'all enjoyed today's live stream. I'll be getting back to doing this. And everyone who supported me and sent some donations in, I do really appreciate it. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'll put some of y'all on the screen while I'm waiting. Uh, thank you, Roger Spice. Thank you, B. Staten versus the world. Thank you, humble servant. <clears throat> Try to get some of y'all if I can catch up on some of y'all comments. D, thank you. Be the man at the center. I'm trying to put all y'all up there before I shut it down, but it's a lot of them you know, talking at the same time. Let's see. What's going on with this thing? Thank you, tripping some time. Uh, good count. Can I have a hit this here? All right, all right. All right. I will probably be doing another one this upcoming Wednesday, uh, but that's usually a 30 minute live stream. I try to do an hour on Sundays. Let me try to put some of y'all up there. Go up a little bit higher. <coughs> Excuse me. And appreciate uh, Mr. Wayne for joining the um, live stream today. Yeah, if you're going to be on here, you got to be a visible guest. We got to see your face. Let's see. That's a straight no cap. Okay. Oh yeah, y'all having a heat wave down there? Oh, I bet Florida is cooking. I ain't trying to talk crazy about myself, but I got locked up in Florida. And I had to get extradited from Florida back to Houston. They put in that damn little short ass, little ass, cramped up ass white van, man. It was hot as hell down there, man. Everybody chained up and stuff. And y'all ain't got y'all heat crazy. Like in the oven in there. I know it's hot down there. If anything like it is up here, it's hot up there. I know. Let me see. Let me see. I saw a Tupac picture. Women need to under them. I'm trying to put some of y'all up here before I shut it down because I know y'all was on. Um... Oh, damn. I ain't see you, bro. Oh, I just got a cash out from somebody. Um, Let me see what it say on my email. Um, It says, oh, yeah, Ball Styles. Okay. Ball Styles, thank you for sending me a um, cash out. Right now, donation. I greatly appreciate the cash app. Thank you very much. Let's see. Elijah, man. All right. 
107 degrees. In Houston right now, it would be 100 and I think it was 104, but they said the feel like temperature was 110. 110. But I guarantee you there's going to be some booty hanging out of somebody, thought short, shaking in this hot ass heat. Just funky. Let me see. Yeah, Dallas is cooking. Yeah. Hey, Colin, I remember you, man. I believe you're the um, Hebrew Israelite brother that came on one day. How you doing today, man? Hope you and your family doing good. I hope, I hope you're the right person I'm talking about. <laughs> I think it's you. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, hey, Derek. I can never remember your last name. I want to say you were Garrett or something like that. Um, Cap. I think that's what I thought. All right, y'all. Um, I'm about to shut it down. It's been a whole hour. Okay. Um, I see y'all next time. Then let me get this thing started and play this old jazz music to get up out of here. All right, y'all have a good one. Y'all be safe this weekend. I hope y'all had a great weekend and stuff like that, man. And whatever you do, try to avoid the sims. Goodbye. <laughs>